Ah, kia ora tātou, kei te kāinga me te haupori whānui o here taunga. Uh, tēnei au, uh, ko James e mihi ake ki a tātou. Uh, I tēnei wiki, i tēnei wiki hui a kai manawa o te tau, e kia nei ko te wiki o te reo Māori. Kei ko nei mātou, uh, i tēnei wā tonu, kei te ara kahikatea, uh, e mihi ake ki a koutou katoa, uh, nō reira tēnā koutou. Hey everyone, um, we're just out at uh, Te Ara Kahikatea here in uh, Hastings. Now Te Ara Kahikatea, we just want to have a little bit of a uh, a quarter or about the significance of this this name, this road, and this place. And so Te Ara Kahikatea uh, links uh, Pakofai and Mangatere Tere, uh, and is significant for a number of reasons um, and is named accordingly. And so Kahikatea is the indigenous uh, name of the white pine here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, and there's our, um, our tallest um, indigenous uh, rako or tree here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Uh, it is said that um, the uh, Kahikatea uh, is an offspring of uh, Tane Mahuta and his wife uh, Waoriki and the Kahikatea's siblings were the uh, Matai, the Kauri, uh, the Rimu, uh, the Puketea and the Tane Kaha and um, conifer uh, pines with sort of light foliage uh, leaves and things but Tane actually located Kahikatea uh, uh, predominantly away from um, its siblings and um, and located uh, Kaikatea in the wetlands or the swampy areas of the country. So formerly here in Heretanga, um, synonymous with uh, wai, water, uh, which is highly significant and important today uh, for a number of reasons, but these lands, uh, this place uh, was uh, uh, a, a series of um, overground uh, waterways, uh, swamp lands, repo, uh, awa, rivers, manga, streams, and um, and over time, uh, you know, in the mid 19th century, with the diversion of awa and rivers and, and stopping flooding and things, um, the rivers, I guess, have um, found their pathways today, and they don't really change these days because they have stop banks to stop them from flooding. But back in the day, uh, these lands were um, were wetlands, and so Kahikatea uh, were prosperous in this area. And indeed, in the um, early settlers to um, this district in the mid 19 in the mid 1800s, um, in the Pakiaka Bush, which is um, back towards Mangatere Tere side and Lawn Road, and out towards um, Clive, there, um, a lot of the early houses in the district, Ahuriri, Heretaunga, uh, were milled from the Pakiaka Bush. Um, the kahikatea trees that grew, uh, that uh, were prosperous uh, in this area. And so today though, um, we're standing here uh, in the roundabout that takes us into Whakatū uh, amongst the little grove of uh, kahikatea that have been planted recently here. There are more kahikatea planted down towards uh, Mangatere Tere and uh, to represent and take us back and um, reaffirm uh, those links to place here where the kahikatea tree has a long and prosperous history with this area. And so the name Te Ara Kahikatea, the kahikatea pathway, the kahikatea roadway, ara being a path or a roadway, is, uh, you know, it's, it's fitting and appropriate that um, this, this arterial route opened in February 2019 uh, by Mana Whenua, uh, Ngāti Hori, Ngāti Hawe, Ngāti Henemoa, uh, Te Hapuri Kainga or Whakatū uh, and the Hastings District Council uh, have celebrated that connection to place and have named this important link, uh, this road, uh, Te Ara Kahikatea. So just a little bit to um, add to our Here Taunga Tuturu uh, posting for this week, uh, Māori Language Week. Nō reira, uh, tēnā nō au, e mihi ake ki a tātou. 
uh, kia kaha te reo Māori, uh, kia pai te toinga o te wiki e tū mai nei. Kia ora.